Today we're going to read a story called Sunbread by Eliza Clevin. The wind, it whooshed. The snow, it whirled. The rain streamed down. It sloshed and swirled and washed the colors from the world. Bear trees shook like chilly bones. Children grumbled in their homes. Birds and beasts all wished the sun would show its golden face again. A baker missed the sun so much. She took some flour from her hutch, some butter, sugar, eggs, and yeast. She said, I'll bake a sunny feast because the real sun likes to hide. I'll make my own small sun inside. She kneaded bread dough, rich and gold, glossy, springy, smooth to hold. She shaped a bread so round and grand. It seemed the sun shone in her hands. Perhaps the baker's loving touch helped her sun bread grow so much. Perhaps it was the yeast or flour. Something gave that sun bread power. It rose and rose and rose and rose. A smell from heaven filled the nose of every child and every dog every porcupine and hog. They saw that good bread rise and shine and stopped their grumbles, groans, and whines. The baker's made a sun, they cried. The baker let them all inside and filled them up from toe to head with puffy, hot, delicious bread. Bread so brilliant, bright, and sunny, summer seemed to fill their tummies bread so fluffy, so fine, they felt themselves begin to shine. And then surprise began to rise, to float and flutter, flip and fly, light as kites into the sky, and down again to dance and sing. They all joined hands and hooves and wings and praised the joy good bread can bring. They made a sound so sweet and deep. The real sun woke up from its sleep. It burst out through the lumpy clouds and streamed down on the startled crowd. The sun is here, they gave a cheer. It wants some bread, the baker said. So everyone threw bits of bread, chunks and hunks and crusty crumbles into the sky up to the sun, who ate it up and beamed back down on every city, field, and town. It dried the fur of moose and dog, and it warmed the soul of barren frog. It glittered on the blue-green seas, wove golden ribbon through the trees. It painted colors on the day, melted all the snow away, and brought the shadows out to play. It scattered rainbows, soft and bright, fed the plants with its clear light. Streaked the sky red, yellow, and pink, and purple, then began to sink. And as the sun slipped down to rest, the baker shouted this request. Come back for breakfast, please, dear sun. I'll bake fresh sun bread and sun buns. The baker baked the whole night long. And then, hooray, at crack of dawn, the sun was back to spread its light like honey on each yummy bite and dance around the world and sing of all the joy good bread can bring. And now, when it's cold and gray and dark and icy, guess who plays with flour, sugar, 
eggs, and yeast. Guess who bakes bread, stars, and beasts? Bread birds and flowers, boats and towers, tons of buttery small suns, which shine until the real one comes. The baker and her crew, that's who. The end.